so what are some ways that people are grieving right now? You told me that recently you spoke to high school students not able to attend their graduation. Like, what are some ways that people are grieving during this time? Right. So, you know, you talked about, you know, our, our, our um, grief recovery definition, our grief definition, right? The uh, change in uh, familiar pattern of behavior, all of those conflicting feelings that come with those changes, right? All the things that we're familiar with, you know, and so for the high school kids, my goodness, my heart was breaking, you know, as they were telling me all their stories, you know, of not being able to experience prom and graduation the way that they had envisioned it. Some of these kids were already planning this since their freshman year. Right, already what that's going to look like, especially those that are the leaders within their um, within their generation, right? The st student councils and you know things like that, the prom committees, like it's like everything that they worked so hard for no longer could do it. Um, and then there were some of the kids on there that um, you know play sports. You know, some of them are working towards um, scholarships, right? Sports scholarships. Um, and are really good at what they do. And now they can't even do that, you know, or the game has changed in a lot of ways where practices um, have to be um, uh, cut up in like two or threes, right? Because they all can't practice together, you know? Um, and then the games, right? You can't have the audience at the games. And so what, what point is that for them? Being able to get together with their friends, you right? Those, those social gatherings right. um, that kids their age um, that they, they look forward to. They look forward to that, right? Um, and, and especially the high school seniors, now they're, they're transitioning um, from being a, a teenager into being responsible adults. And now that transition has totally shifted for them. So everything that they've worked towards over the last four years, now they have to change and adapt. And it's like, what is that going to look like? The fear of the unknown was one of the big um, yeah. relatable feelings that a lot of them had. Um, and so just understanding that those were some of the huge pieces of what our kids, our teenagers are going through, right? Um, and I think that every, every child, um, you know, their, their capacity to understand um, where they're at in life is different. But the feeling of loss, right? the feeling of uh, togetherness, the feeling yeah. of creating memories um, with friends, uh, the, um, you know, some of them that d love school, <laughs> not all kids love school. Some of them are actually happy <laughs> that they don't have to go to school, but there's majority of them that even if they don't like to study, they love to go to school because of the social gathering. The social interaction. Right? Right. Yes. Just getting together with their friends and, um, you know, being with, uh, human beings that's their age that understand them. 